a workout there, Richard. That's 50 metres, is it? That's 50 metres, Shelley, yeah. The reason I wanted to show you what 50 metres was because I wanted to show you the relationship between 50 metres in the real world and 50 metres being represented by a millimetre on our map. All right, so we've got two different maps here. Can you right. explain to us how that... 50 metres relates to these? Yeah, sure, no problem. Okay, on a 50 metre, on a 50,000 K scale map, which I'll just grab, all right, we can see here that on a 50 uh, K thousand map that we've got a smaller area of New Zealand covered but with greater detail. Whereas on a 250 map, we've got We've got a greater area of New Zealand depicted, and we can see here we've still got Quail Island depicted right here, but it's a greater area but with less detail. So, yeah. So if I was going on a really long journey, say all of the South Island, I would use my 250,000 250, map? Yeah, you, want, you really want to know um, where your destination is and you want to know where your start point is, obviously. And so you want your map really to depict the whole journey. So you want to choose a, a map scale relevant to the size of the journey that you want to make. Yeah. Okay, so we're learning about scale here. You've learnt that one millimetre is 50 metres on the ground. So one millimetre on the map is 50 metres on the ground. That's right. So what is one centimetre? You can work that out. Given that knowledge, we looked at Quail Island before, how could I tell, using the map, what the distance is from here to Quail Island? Uh, good question, and I'm glad to say that the easiest way to, sh to explain that is to actually show you. So let's do that. Okay. Right, Richard, you've got your piece of string here. Can you show us how you're going to translate that piece of string into the distance <laughs> out there? Sure, not a problem. I'll point out that you might not always have a handy piece of string with you to do this, but you might be able to use a stick or a, a, a leaf or really just something um, that you could use, something you could improvise with. Yep. Um, I've got my trusty compass here, so I'm going to use the string on that. All right, so what I want to do to calculate the distance from where we are to the centre of Quail Island there is I place one part, one point on the string on where we are and another point on the string to the centre of Quail Island and using my thumbs and holding the string tight, I now have that measurement safe on the string and I go over to our map scale here and I place my thumb on the zero marker and my other thumb to the nearest whole number and that would give us a total of four kilometers. Uh, also for further information you could actually consult the map reading guide <laughs> which is available on our Lynn's website. You'll never be lost again. <laughs>